Greetings, Poké fans! Michael here, and today I'll be covering my favorite Pokémon for every one of the 18 Pokémon types. I've done this before, but it's been a while and I figured it was time for an update. First up, my favorite bug type is Vikavolt. From the moment this Pokémon was revealed in the lead up to Sun and Moon, I thought it was awesome. Most early route bugs aren't interesting to me, but Alolas is a fearsome looking beetle with mandibles that blast lightning bolts. Electric is my favorite type, and even if it wasn't, that would still be amazing. Despite Vikavolt's disappointing stats, acrobatic flying maneuvers, and yet you give it only 43 speed? I used it on my playthrough teams in both Sun and Ultra Sun. It's just so fun to hit so hard with it. Before I move on to the next type, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different for this updated version of this video. Only listing my favorite of each type leaves out a lot of Pokemon that I'm quite fond of. So after I tell you my favorite of each type, I'll list a few honorable mention Pokemon for that type as well. So Pokemon I quite like just aren't the favorite of a specific type. Also, I should probably mention and clarify, if a Pokemon is listed under one type, it won't appear on another if it's a dual type Pokemon. So my bug honorable mentions are Scyther, Scolipede, Araquanid, and Galisopod. My favorite dark type is Umbreon. I know, it's basic, but it's hard to beat. Umbreon has been my favorite evolution basically always. Its design is sleek, the glowing rings looking so cool on its dark body, but it also seems like it would make a good pet, despite being the type called evil type in Japanese. I also got to use it as a kid in Pokemon Coliseum and grew fond of it while playing that. Plus, those of you who watched Pokemon Talk back in the day probably remember how fun the character of Umbreon was. I know Jolteon and Umbreon can be a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> The floor tentacles are drowning me! Okay, maybe more than a little bit. The dark type honorable mentions are Greninja and Alolan Muck. Greninja is universally agreed to be cool, and Alolan Muck is a significantly upgraded version of Cantonian Muck. Ha ha! I just saw a Gurunti boy! And have you seen my hat? No, what happened to it? Well, I can't seem to find it, so I've just been rotating through other hats in the meantime. It's been quite stressful, but I've been de-stressing by playing the sponsor of this video, Empires and Puzzles. It's an award-winning free-to-play game that combines puzzle and RPG gameplay. You match shields to attack, then use your hero's special abilities at the right time to claim victory. I've been having so much fun with it. Sounds awesome, but uh, how are your hats changing? It's like I blink and you have a new one. What? I haven't been changing my hats. Have they? You can collect over 400 heroes and travel to faraway lands like Atlantis or Valhalla and build up your own empire in the process. Plus, you can battle in exciting PvP combat. The game also regularly gets exciting updates and new content, like the new Season of Love event with five new Cupid-inspired heroes and 20 stages with three difficulty modes. I'm excited for that because I love love, but what I don't love is this weird hat thing they keep changing and it's freaking me out just stop wearing the hats do you really need it for your identity you're one to talk harsh yet fair anyways be sure to download empires and puzzles using one of the links in the description below now i just need to figure out how to fix this hat oh my hat's back to normal i must have figured out the true meaning of hat miss or this was random and meaningless Ta-ta! My favorite dragon type is Rayquaza. After all, I am the leader of Team Sky. I did like Rayquaza long before Team Sky was a thing though. I used the one from my first Ruby file extensively and beating the league with one in Emerald was an experience I'll never forget. Plus, even without the nostalgia, it's just insanely cool. Easily the most legendary looking legendary with an S tier shiny as well. And of course, with how fun Team Sky has been these last couple years, it's made me love Rayquaza even more. The dragon honorable mentions are Flygon, Salamence, and Dragonite. Two cool pseudos and a cool one that should have been pseudo. My favorite electric type is Zebstrika. Zebstrika is not a particularly popular Pokemon, which I find strange. It's a zebra, a cool animal that's been my favorite since basically birth, with lightning bolt stripes. A surefire way to make something look cool is to put lightning bolts on it. Well. Actually, maybe not your car, that sounds tacky. Good job. Oh, sh Zebstrika was a staple member of my first white playthrough, but I haven't really used it at all since. That's not really my fault though. Do you know the last time you could get a Blitzel or Zebstrika in a Pokemon game before beating the main story? Yeah, it was a uh, Black 2 and White 2, the generation the Pokemon were added. It's only post-game in Gen 6, and then hasn't been obtainable 
anywhere since then. It's one of the very few Pokemon left that is wholly unobtainable on the Switch. I can't believe I celebrated the return of Go-Goat when my beloved Lightning Zebra has been gone for even longer. Although if it returns, when it returns, if it does so with an evolution, I'm willing to wait longer because my God, does it need one? The honorable mentions for Electric are Luxray, Lantern, and Jolteon. My favorite fairy type is Alolan Ninetales. There aren't many fairy types I love or even like at all, but I adore this Pokemon. I never really cared for Cantonian Ninetales, but Alolan Ninetales is majestic and cute and very fun to use in battle. It was on my Ultra Sun team, and once I had it on my team in my Ice Only playthrough last year, things got a lot easier. It was my favorite regional form when introduced, and nothing's topped it since. My only fairy type honorable mention is Grimmsnarl. Like I said, there aren't many fairy types I like, but I like Grimmsnarl because it's ugly. He's so ugly! I love him! I'm sorry, that was harsh. I just like that it breaks the traditional mold of what a fairy type is, either being cute or pretty. Grimmsnarl is kind of nasty, mean, and scary looking, yet it's still a fairy type, and I think that's awesome. My favorite fire type is Talonflame. A lot of what I love about Talonflame is, of course, Talonflame itself. Birds of prey are the coolest kinds of birds, and Talonflame is one of those that lights on fire. How could you not adore that? However, what made me truly love Talonflame was using it back in Gen 6. I basically always had one in my party to hatch eggs, but I had others that I used for competitive battling, like a Gale Wings one that was part of a team that both got me a 50 streak at the Battle Mason and 24th of over 200 people at the only VGC regional I ever competed in. I have a lot of nostalgia for this spicy bird and that is carried into today. The fire honorable mentions are Arcanine, Typhlosion, and Torkoal. My favorite fighting type is Grappaloct. I loved this octopus the instant it was introduced because it includes two of my favorite design features, being blue and yellow, well, kinda yellow, kinda lime green. I think the actual areas are yellow, but then the border is green, which makes it look lime green. I'm not really sure. And having a mask around its eyes. My mascot Mighty has both of those design aspects, which are there because I like them so much. So I guess you could say that Grappaloct is what Mighty would look like if Mighty was an octopus. Well, okay, maybe not. Distant Cousins? Back to Grappaloct though, I really just think it looks cool and has a spectacular shiny as icing on the cake. I really wish it was better though. Being water type, any amount of bulk or speed, better attack. <sighs> it's just, it's, it's really bad. Like I used it on my team and it was fine, but like anywhere outside of a playthrough, it is, I think PM7 said it's like the worst fighting type in the history of Pokemon. And uh, that hurt. My fighting type honorable mentions are Blaziken, Breloom, and Phalanx. My favorite flying type is Gyarados. There are honestly quite a lot of flying types that I love, go Team Sky, but they ended up as the favorites for other types like Talonflame and Fire. Since there was another water type I really wanted to put for water, Gyarados ends up as the favorite for the flying type. I've always been fond of Gyarados, but my true admiration for it is more recent thanks to, you guessed it, Team Sky! A Gyarados has been on all but one of the Team Sky squads. Totally could have been on the first one, I was just dumb. And it was a super important team member every time. Sometimes even being the best member above legendaries. Team Sky is just such a big fun part of everything I do here on YouTube now. And Gyarados has been a big part of that. So it fits perfectly as my favorite flying type even though it can really only learn bounce. My flying honorable mentions are Charizard, Corviknight, and Rowlet. My favorite ghost type is Marshadow. I don't have any nostalgic attachment to this Pokemon. After all, it's mythical, so you could only get it randomly from events. I honestly wish it was weaker and not mythical though, so I could use it on a playthrough team. It's so darn cute, and the way it flares up with energy when its fighting spirit is activated is awesome. Hopefully I'll end up with one in a randomizer someday. My ghost honorable mentions are Gengar, Golurk, and Annihilate. My favorite grass type is Sceptile. You probably knew this one. Well, maybe, I haven't really talked about it in a while. Sceptile was my first ever Pokemon and thus my favorite Pokemon to this day. I love lizards and this is an extra cool lizard that slashes with leaf blades and helped me fall in love with Pokemon all those years ago. My grass honorable mentions are Tropius, both forms of Decidueye, and Go-Goat. My fondness of Go-Goat is 
quite recent, like within the last year. It was really strong in my Y randomizer, and then it was my first shiny in my 50 Day Scarlet video. So uh, we'll see if that carries over over the years. My favorite ground type is Gliscor. I've really liked this cool creature of the night for many years, but I've grown extra fond of it as an adult. I love its menacing and mischievous smile, claws, and dark wings, making it this fearsome night predator exemplified in new Pokemon Snap. I also never had the chance to use it when younger, but I've gotten to a lot more as an adult, which has been fun since it's quite good. Also, it's shiny, is blue and yellow. My ground honorable mentions are Torterra, Groudon, and Garchomp. My favorite ice type is shiny hail form cast form. If you've been around, you knew this one. It's a form of my beloved cast form that is blue and yellow, spawned the phrase hail yeah, and doesn't have an inappropriate front side. I simply adore it. Although, if it doesn't count because it's an alternate form of a Pokemon that's gonna show up later in this video, haha, <laughs> spoilers, uh, then I guess instead I'll pick Sfeel. The cute round boy, what else is there to say? My honorable mentions for the ice type are Lapras, Zen Mode, Galarian Darmanitan, and Arctabax. My favorite normal type is, surprise, Cast Form. Defending a cute Pokemon that no one else really likes will certainly get you attached to it. It's got an admittedly awkward front side and is hopelessly useless in battle, but hey, it's super cute and has goggles. And changing with the weather is really cool. Definitely cooler as a pet than in battle, but its stats didn't allow for battle usefulness anyways. My normal honorable mentions are Tauros, Staraptor, and Snorlax. My favorite poison type is Crobat. This is yet another flying type I've liked since I was a kid. It's a massive upgrade from Golbat, both in power and looks, and it's just so sleek and fearsome. I feel like I use that word to describe Pokemon a lot, although I also use cool a lot. I just like cool and fearsome Pokemon. I've also used Crobat more times than I can count because I not only like how it looks, but it's also quite good and strong. So I'm sure I'll use it again. My poison honorable mentions are Nidoking, Claude Sire, and Saviper. My favorite psychic type is Armor Rouge. The only Gen 9 Pokemon to earn a top spot is the one I was most intent on using on my team once it was revealed. Hence why I chose Scarlet and why I didn't go for Skeledurge despite it being my favorite of the new starters. Armor Rouge has a banger color scheme and its design makes it look like a buff, strong warrior. And then it makes a cannon? Come on, that's so awesome. I know Cerulege is more popular, but I'm always gonna be an Armor Rouge guy. My psychic honorable mentions are Gallade and Hisuian Braviary, but I should specify that Hisuian Braviary is here primarily because of its incredible shiny. My favorite rock type is Gigalith. It's basically an awesome walking tank covered in vibrant red spikes, almost like a rock type Metagross. It just looks so fearsome. I did it again, it looks cool. I've said cool a lot though, What? whatever, it's both. Also, it's shiny is yet another fantastic one. My rock honorable mentions are Archeops and Garganical. My favorite steel type is Metagross. I did just say my favorite rock type looking like a rock type Metagross was a reason it was my favorite, so this shouldn't surprise you. It's a robot with a badass X on its face that turns silver and gold when shiny. Plus, it's a pseudo legendary, meaning if you use it, you're gonna have a great time. Whenever I see Metagross, I wish they would make another pseudo legendary that was not dragon type because they have proven they can make really cool Pokemon that are not dragons that are also super strong. My steel honorable mentions are Scizor, Agron, and Aegislash. And finally, my favorite water type is Swampert. The Hoenn trio of starters is my favorite starter trio, partially due to nostalgia, but also because it's one of only two where I feel they nailed all three. Blaziken was just shy of being my favorite fighting or fire type due to stronger attachments to Grapplocked and Talonflame, but there are not any water types that I like more than Swampert. To me, it's so impressive that they took a weird animal like the Mudskipper and made it such a cool Pokemon that is also really strong. Surfing and earthquaking back in Gen 3 was so much fun, and Swampert is definitely my favorite water starter to this day. All this praise does not apply to Mega Swampert though. What were they thinking? And my water type honorable mentions are Squirtle, Ludicolo, and Dracovish. Thanks so much for watching with an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. If you want to help support me in the same way, the link's in the description below. And if you want to check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. But that is all I have for now. So till next time, big fans, gotta catch them all.